Most of you were watching the presidential debate Monday night, and people in Alabama think there was a clear winner. Those are the results of the latest exclusive News 5 strategy poll. Here's News 5's Peter Albrecht. She's been doing this for 30 years. It was the most watched presidential debate ever, and it was highly watched here. 78 percent of Alabamians we surveyed say they saw at least part of the debate Monday night. John Gray of Strategy Research conducted the poll for News 5. We set records in terms of not just watching the debate, but the largest audience on television since the Super Bowl. So, I mean, this is a big crowd, and that trended here locally. And even though Alabama is overwhelmingly supporting Donald Trump, voters here say they saw a clear winner Monday night. Hillary. Oh, without doubt, Secretary Clinton. Our poll shows 47% think Hillary Clinton won the debate, 34% say Donald Trump won, 19% say it was a draw. You know what? I am proud of the people of Alabama in this because they told the truth. I said on television the other night that I thought that Donald Trump didn't do a very good job. The people of Alabama, even those supporting Donald Trump, spoke the truth in what they saw that Hillary just did a better job than Donald Trump. You said you're supporting yeah. Trump at this point. How do you think he did last night? Well, I think he did. This yeah, I think he did well. Did he win? Oh, uh, I would say it was a draw. Among Trump supporters, 59 percent believe he won the debate. 28 percent concede it was a tie. Compare that to 95 percent of Clinton supporters who believe their candidate was the winner Monday night. She looked presidential. She looked good. And she answered every question directly and forthrightly. But Gray says Clinton's performance Monday won't necessarily mean more votes in November. This is a situation where we have to pick the least, uh, the best of the worst. Thanks, sir. Okay, good enough. Now, the next debate is a week from Sunday, the final debate, October 19th. More than 3,000 people participated in our poll. Tomorrow, we're going to look at our latest polling on who people plan to vote for and see if we've seen any movement since we last polled the presidential race in July. In the newsroom, Peter Albrecht, News 5.